Awesome. In this short video clip, we're going to be talking about how, teaching your dog, how to teach your dog to sit, down, and stand. If you'd like to see more about my services, you can visit my website at www.canineheadstart.com. We're going to be working with Ursa today. She's a three-year-old female Briard, and we're going to be teaching her sit, down, stand. I use hand signals when I'm working with a dog, and one of the reasons are because dogs are visual communicators more than verbal communicators, and it always aids a dog like Ursa, who hasn't done a whole lot of work, um, that, to understand what we want. In mo a lot of dogs, you can then transfer to giving only hand signals or only giving verbal cues to your dog. You're going to go and lie down without me even asking you to, huh? <laughs> Good girl. All right, so to start, we're going to give the command, Ursa, sit. We're going to mark the behavior, reward the behavior, and I'm not going to release the behavior because I'm going to now put her into a down. Ursa, down. I'm going to reward the down behavior, and I'm going to ask her to go back into a sit. Good girl. And from a sit, I'm going to ask her to, Ursa, Stand. Good girl. Okay, and now I'm going to release the behavior. So you can see she was not completely sure of herself when I was asking her to go into a stand from a sit. And what I did, rather than repeating the verbal cue, is I encouraged her by giving her my lower hand. Also notice that I didn't have any treats in my hand at all. That's very important. You don't want to be bribing your dog. In another video clip, we will be talking about the difference between a lure, a reward, and a bribe. Let's see if Ursa can get the sit to the stand again. Ursa, sit. Good girl. Now I'm going to ask her again for a stand. Good girl. Good job. She got it. 